Jesus' mighty and victorious name we pray. Can the church shout a loud amen. amen. Please wish us this sit down. seven days of warfare our focal point has been purity hallelujah Amen. our focal point has been on the theme of purity glory to God been a journey. Hallelujah. Just as scripture says, cast not precious pearls unto swines, give not that which is holy unto dogs. Um, particularly, ex particularly excited at um, the teaching and the time God chose to have it. Glory to God. You know, it is in meetings like this that defining truths are unleashed. Unfortunately, it is meetings that many people tend to take for granted. Hallelujah. So we've been looking at purity. Glory to God. the part one, we're able to look at the the purity. Amen. Amen. Of words or speech purity. Hallelujah. Then we moved into the part two. Glory to God. We looked at the purity of conscience. And we moved to part three, which we looked at the purity of motive. We moved into part four, where we look at the purity of thoughts hallelujah Amen. we moved into part five glory to god oh we looked at the what a purity of finances as the case may be please give me volume hallelujah and now tonight in part six we are going to be looking at spiritual purity. Hallelujah. Interestingly, in my sermon note, spiritual purity is part one. Hallelujah. Um, but the Lord will have us have it today. Glory to God. So please, I want you to listen to me carefully. What I'm about to share with you is simple, yet extremely very important. Are you with me? So I need you to listen carefully. I'm going to be leaping out a sensitive context of spiritual purity. 
Hallelujah. So I'd love for you to follow closely. It's important. John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6. Can we read together? One, two, three, go. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Glory to God. Spiritual purity. Hallelujah. Before we drop in this, into this scripture, I want you to understand that the realm of the spirit, please listen to me carefully. All right, I, I need you to catch this. The realm of the spirit is more advanced and more civilized than the physical realm. Are you with me? As advanced as you think the earth is with all the most advanced technologies you find around it is not remotely as close as how advanced the realm of the spirit is are you with me please follow me closely because many of us have this notion this mindset we think the spirit realm is like our backyard where you just gaze into and you gaze out. We fail to bear the consciousness that the spirit realm is a civilization of its own that is way advanced than the physical realm. How old is the world? from creation how many thousands of years now before the creation of the world came into play the spirit realm already existed and thrived so even if advancement was to solely be based on time then the spirit realm is already light years ahead of your physical world let me bring it down western nations like europe the united states of america whether you like it or not will keep dominating continents like Africa and countries like Nigeria's, Nigeria and the likes. And the reason is simple. America is over 250 years old. So you divide the years of Nigeria by by 5 or 6 to make up the years of America. They are advanced. Before Nigeria can hope to become a civilization that the United States of America is, they are going to need time. All right? So the reason why America as a nation is naturally ahead to an extent is because they already have an advantage of a first start. Are you with me? So, they naturally just control the affairs of the world because they have an advantage of time. The only counterpart that had the capacity to combat them even during the Cold War times is Europe. And that's why you realize that till today, they're like rubbing shoulders because they existed side by side they fought to share the exploitations of the African continent. 
Are you with me? Please follow me closely. I need you to understand that the reason why the spiritual will always control the physical is not because the spiritual is spiritual, because the spiritual is way advanced. And wherever there's advancement, the advancer stands a better chance to control the one who is less advanced. Are you with me? So, please listen to me carefully. I'm trying to be as basic as I can possibly be. So, the spirit realm is already a way advanced civilization that it will take thousands of years for the physical world to dream of catching up. Already the physical world is seriously advancing. There are parts of the world right now where you pay for your goods through a chip. People already have chip implants. The ATM cards you are holding today, in some part of the world, people are not holding it anymore. Some people go and pay for goods, go and swipe their hand and the chip in their hands gets debited and they walk. The world is already advancing. Countries like Australia already is already burning fuel cars. I mean cars that use, they are already placing a ban on it. The only cars around are electric cars and flying cars in the same world. Right now, as we speak, pure strings everywhere. Follow me closely, please. Are you with me? I'm trying to help you understand the spiritual without spiritualizing it. So that you understand how spiritual it is. Alright? For those of you who are into sci-fi movies, you see a trend and an advancement of portals where people want to travel here and by some sort of technology they are able to open portals that helps them get into those realms and some of you think it's science fiction <laughs> you'll be amazed that was how flying cars some years back looked like science fiction it's already a reality today. What many people call movies are these guys test running their technologies in a way to be able to understand its capabilities. So people are already trying to define portals, a realm of existence where you'll be able to travel at the speed of light, enter the portal here, come out in the next city there. But as advanced as that technology is and we are waiting to see it in some distant future to come, it is already history in the realm of the spirit. There's a reason why cars does not exist in the realm of the spirit. That civilization is a cake. It has passed. They have advanced beyond cars. In the realm of the spirit, they travel at the speed of thought. That's how advanced they are. And if the Lord tarries, it will scare the world the level of advancement that the world will get into. And if the church as it is does not begin to redefine its stand in this present world, there is trouble.
a pastor who stands a chance to be relevant to this generation must understand how to underlay the gospel in technology. If not, you cannot communicate the mind of this generation. Have you seen a little boy in this generation before manipulating a gadget? I mean, they are doing what you right now at your age, you are not able to do yet. So when they become your age, what do you think they will be doing? You know, the same way your, some of you, your, your, your parents sit down, they are trying to punch those buttons. I say, mommy, daddy, you are too slow and you collect it and you are typing. With this, your knowledge, that's what your children will tell you one day. That is how much the world is advancing. Please follow me closely. We are going somewhere. Are you with me? And it has been evident from the onset that anybody who stands to make any advancement must understand the importance of tapping into the spirit realm. The reason why men tap into the spirit realm is because there is an advance permit me to use the word technology that it can be used to manipulate the outcome in this physical world. So naturally, anyone who wants to make advancement naturally taps into the realm of the spirit to be able to make that advancement. I have never seen any successful person without an allegiance to a spirit. Now, a lot of you study scriptures for those of you who who are vast in scriptures and you read about Enoch and the Bible says Enoch walked with God and was not for God took him and then that was all you got took him where? what happened? you see until you begin to study the canon of scriptures and you begin to delve into books like the books the book of Enoch and then you realize that when the Lord sends down the sons of God, which is angels, the class of angels called watchers, to come and supervise the affairs of the earth realm, they came, they saw the daughters of men, they took a liking to them, and they got them for wives, and they realized, whoa, we've heard. Enoch then have delved into a dispensation where he was a watcher. And then these angels went to Enoch and pleaded with him to intercede on, the be on their behalf. And Enoch went to God to intercede on the behalf of the angels. Many people don't understand why God had to take Enoch. In the interceding, it became known that their punishment is that they will never return to heaven again. That was God's decree concerning them. So they settled amongst men. They began breeding their own seeds. And it was then they began. That, that The book of Enoch said they began to teach men wisdom that were not, was not meant for their civilization. It was then men were taught how to make fire. How to make weapons. This civilization existed in the spirit realm, in the other dimension, but was not known to the dimension of men. They brought in this wisdom and began to sell it to the sons of men, begin to manufacture this thing. And before then, it was not given to men. So now men knew, okay, so you could make fire. You could make a gun to shoot and kill somebody. You can make this, you can make that. There's a technology to make an atomic bomb that can level a whole nation at once. 
these were wisdom that existed in the spirit realm but not open to the realm of mortals fallen angels brought this into reality I'm trying to help you understand that what you call advancement in technology is not just a byproduct of human wisdom. You can tell the source of wisdom producing a technology by getting to know what the technology is used for. Please follow me closely. I said something before and I want to say it again. I want to help you understand the spirit realm by physically explaining it so that you understand the spirituality. Then when we are done, you understand that when we say spiritual, it's actually here with you. You are not just seeing it. So they began to teach men the art of war. How to fight, how to contend, how to this. And wickedness began to increase in the face of the earth. What you call bullets today that is everywhere you can walk into the store to buy. What, is, what a bullet is made of basically is gunpowder. Gunpowder in medieval ages is a technology that not every civilization then even had access to. And even those who have access to gunpowder is restricted. You can't even bring it out because they understood how dangerous it was. It's the same thing somebody can walk into the store today, pay money and buy and go. And stop you on the road and remove a gun and tell you, bring your belongings. These things did not initially exist. Men tapped into the spirit realm. When you see people do it, uh, 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 spirituality, uh, how to uh, charms to control a man, charms to do this, charm. You are still, you are still wearing spiritual pampas. Real men who consult the spirit realm don't consult it for little things as such. They consult the spirit realm for witty invention inventions that can stagger and and it can shake the balance of the entire existence of the world all these to walk on water those ones is drama real spiritual people don't have that time after walking on water so it is we that are excited by things that does not hold relevance Follow me closely. I said that to say this. That the civilization of the spirit realm is way advanced. And do not make the mistake of thinking God is the only spiritual being. There are so many spiritual mediums. God is just one of them. Listen to me carefully. I'm fully aware these teaching are not for babes. That is why I intentionally did not teach it during I won't teach it during a Sunday service. Programs of spiritual hunger like this that only spiritual hunger people come. They are the ones that have access to hear it. But it's important you understand that God is not the only spiritual source. God is one of the so many spiritual sources. A guy went to the stream in the village one day to fetch water. And when he was approaching the stream, a spirit appeared and levitated on the water. I was using the hand to control the molecules of the water. All these things people call science fiction. <laughs> uh, when you watch it in a movie, you say it's science fiction. And the, the, the spirit was controlling the movement of the water, controlling the molecules of the water, and it was just normal. He was, 
you know how God set the bush on fire but it was not consumed that was what the spirit was doing just to get the guy's attention it's not a miracle today one must one, one, one pastor they mistake move molecule they were ensure he gets to CNN a major miracle who, who, who is your miracle helping we celebrate mundane a cake spiritual realities and we think we have come into accomplish those things don't even move me they don't so the guy watched and the spirit introduced himself and said to him I walked with your forefathers I can make you wealthy I can give you anything you want and I'm not asking anything much in return and uh, that happened subsequently when that happened he threw the bucket and he took to his heels and ran so after that encounter started Whenever he slept at night, this spirit kept coming, beckoning on him, talking to him, giving him ideas on how to make it in life. If 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 <laughs> if your entire exposure to the spirit is 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 is, is the devil pressing you, say you couldn't shout Jesus, I couldn't shout Jesus. Let me tell you what was happening to you. Is, is demons that were just born yesterday they have not even preached to understand how to wear pampas they are just trying their spiritual molecules with you real spirits when they show up they show up on negotiation or in the future and the Lord allows we begin to th teach things like spiritology pneumatology eschatology demonology we, we are not doing anything yet you see when you have not finished understanding foundations we we'll begin to get into mysteries because some of you without that foundation you hear one mystery ah you will leave god there are some people now that when they hear this message they are saying what are the other source tell us tell us tell us because they don't have a strong foundation with God to stay with God. Some people are only with God because they don't have an option. The day they know there's an option, they'll tell God bye-bye. We'll meet on the last day. That is why the genuine test of loving God is not, is not mouth. It's keeping his commandments. When you have advanced, and the, the, the other day, uh, Apostle Osai was saying how he entered Europe and the principality over Europe came to him and said, Let them negotiate, let them talk. They should help him take over Europe. And you know, he was criticized for it and all of that. And I said, When people have not journeyed into the depths of heavenly realities, some things look too, too weighty for their mind to carry. It's the same way when some Christians sit down and think the devil has horns. At this age, in this civilization, you still think Satan has horns and a tail. In this civilization, you are still thinking that way. See, Satan came to me at night. Satan came to me. Say, how do you know? Say, he had black horns, a, a, a long teeth, and a tail. When Satan truly comes to you, you will see an angel of light. Do you know what Satan is made of? Satan is made of nine different precious stones, diamond, topaz, expensive rare rubies. Precious stones that are even extinct as the world is know it. If you catch one now, they will peel it in billions. That's what it's made of. What you call flesh, that is his flesh. 
He is the very effulgence of beauty. What you saw was not Satan. When you see Satan, you want to fall in love. I, I know I know a lot of you your your theology cannot accommodate some of the things I'm saying. But I understand. Now do they do you? You need time. You've been exposed to the wrong things for so long. Any encounter you have where you see something with with a beastly face, with horns, with tails, very black. The whole of that appearance was a camouflage to get you to become afraid that what you are seeing is not Satan. What you are seeing is called the spirit of fear. So it will take any form to make you afraid so you can gain access. You, you did not see Satan. You've not even gone anywhere for Satan to come to you yet. So of you, you've not even grown high enough for, for, for a fallen angel to come to you. What, what, what is coming to you are demons of the lowest cadre. What, what substance do you have that warrants a fallen angel coming to you? What do you have? What substance? Have, have, have you prayed 72 hours at a stretch before? Have you done 40 days fasting? You think Satan just goes to anybody say the devil is after me? Which devil? When we see people the devil is after, we will know. You don't have sufficient substance for him to be after you. With all due respect, you just don't. N not yet. The devil visits men who have been able to successfully become territorial powers territorial commanders men who have been able to sit over continents those are men he negotiates with where, where have you gotten to your spiritual journey he will tell you now just see into the spirit you do that you know? see, I know they see anything is you that Satan came to. <laughs> it's not that simple. It is men who have accessed realms. Men who have learned to tear open the veil of the spirit at a blink of an eye. You know, sometimes you see prophet prophesying, you hear a prophet, though many people like drama. They will say, I just enter your village. And many people think, in as much as some people just say that for the fun of making prophecy fun. But the actual reality, spiritual transformation can take those forms. They can. It's a dimension in the realms of God. So God is not the only spiritual source. The realm of the spirit is, is, is an advanced civilization. Way advanced than many of us have even come to realize. And you need to know that. So when you tell people, come, my, my, uh, uh, my, 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 my Jesus will give you this. Satan can even give it better. And faster. Jesus takes time to train you so that your soul will not be corrupted by it. So that sorrow will not be the end result. Satan does not care. He is after corrupting your soul. He will give it to you in a hurry.
So it's important you understand God is not the only spiritual medium. There are many. There are many. There are many. There are many. I know of a well-known company named with held in Lagos. A multi-billion naira company that the highly paid people in the company is not the MD. The highly paid people in the company are the spiritualists. They are the real governing council. They are the real board members of the company. They are the one that steers the company in the direction it should go. They are the one that decides the transaction that should happen. They are the one that decides the days to perform the transactions. They are the one that decides the other companies to deal with. So the MD and all the uh, uh, physical board members the world knows the pawns that help move that, that that moves on the chessboard of the spiritual lords nobody advances without a spirit nobody i heard of a sad story of a governor he became a governor he came they prayed for him everything after that sorry senator after that they came he, his house was heavily guarded policemen military men everywhere and the guys came stopped in front of the gate they looked at them said open the gate and they were opening the gate like this they were walking into the compound tell everybody open the door that's how they kept opening doors until they reached inside his bedroom all the armed men could not do nothing plus all the guns you, you've not met spiritual powers yet people with real spiritual substance they don't talk they they, they they are overcome with weightier and heavier matters they don't have time to reply you And they said to him, we brought you here and you went and wanted to give your allegiance to God, to Jesus. Was it Jesus that brought you here? And they told him he had the last opportunity if not he will die. The devil is not after robbing you. The only thing he's out to rob is your soul. And he's willing to give you anything in return just to get that. So if your body in this life is making money, then you don't need Jesus. You don't need Jesus if that's your problem. My generation went into an error. They sold a transactional Jesus to us. As though Jesus is only good for what he can give to you. He will bless you. He will give you money. He will preserve you. He will protect you. Satan can do all of that. Satan can bless you. He can meet your needs. Satan can preserve your life. While taking your soul. You've not... Don't, you've not seen people that... You shoot them bullet, it doesn't enter. How many of you watched Isakaba? I don't know if is that the real name of the movie? I can't remember. But you saw those guys that are impregnable. Bullets does not penetrate them. That was not acting. It's real. It's very real. So if your whole essence of pursuing Jesus is for protection, you don't need Jesus for that.
You don't need Jesus for that. In 2019, when we started, we had a, 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 a church member. He, he, he moved to another local government now. And he told me, he says, he says, Pastor, there's nothing we've not seen in this life. He is a well, a well-known cultist. He said there is no look and cranny of any spiritual power in this state that have not entered, including the civilization underwater. He says we've been fortified with all manner of things. He says time for election. When we storm the streets, when bullets are flying, we are not looking for where to hide. He says bullets will touch us and fall like paper. He said, but the day God chose to humble me, he says, a small boy looked at me and said, you think nothing can touch you and carry the small stone and threw. A small boy that was not up to five and took a small stone and threw. And the stone met him on the head and busted his head and blood was rushing. Bodies that bullets have bounced on and fell off. He says, that was when he knew that no matter how powerful Satan is, God is still more powerful. He says the stone under a normal circumstances is not even something that should have done that. That's how he gave his life to Christ. You don't understand. He was so well known that when we go out with him, everybody just paves way. They knew who he was. It's not something he did. So if your entire concept of Jesus is for protection, then you don't need Jesus for that. If your entire concept of Jesus is for provision, then you don't really need Jesus for that. There are many spiritual mediums. Many. Let me close there. Are you learning something tonight? Thank you, Holy Ghost. When you study First Samuel 28, Saul at a point became desperate because a nation had come at war with him and he wanted to know what to do. So he went to a medium. A medium is a witch. Because he has tried to consult God. God was not talking. He used the Urim, no response. The Tumim, no response. The prophets, no response. So he went to a medium the witch to summon the spirit of Samuel <laughs> to speak to him. <laughs> what I'm saying is in your Bible. Ma many of you are not even aware. And the medium, the witch summoned the spirit and the spirit of Samuel appeared. And the medium became afraid and realized that it was Saul. Because before then, Saul has banished every witchcraft activity. So when Saul tried God and there was no response, he tried another spiritual alternative. There are many gateways to the realm of the spirit. I look at my generation and I laugh, especially in this city. People are doing assignments everywhere. Coconut water. Bring in to church, flog your enemies. And they call it prophetic action. 
around. People are ignorantly engaging in it, not even understanding what they are doing. What is the relationship between coconut and water? If you are not a native doctor, and people don't understand the spirituality of what's going on, they think it's normal. Then they now carry the name of Jesus to try to give it credence so that they can operate without being criticized. That you mention Jesus does not make you his servant. Even Satan believes in Jesus. So that you believe in Jesus does not make you his servant. Are we together? It's important you understand that these excesses are out there. Don't despise it. Don't ignore it. It's important you understand that. Are you with me? Because where the world is going to, and I speak by prophecy, those who don't catch up now will catch up with time. But where the world is going to, you are going to have spiritists obviously practicing it without any fear of judgment or reservation hope you are aware that in in developed countries like europe necromancy is now a course in university magic and, and, and necromancy is, is a course in university you go to study hope you are aware so as we close from school there are there is a class that they have given them assignment on how to manipulate destinies magic they call it white magic, black magic. And it's a course you study. Don't, don't look at me like that. These things are there. They have textbook. They, they text, the magic textbook. For, they, they, they have enchantments. Chant, you chant. Happening now. Right now. There's somebody in the university in Europe somewhere studying witchcraft. In America, you have a church called the Church of Satan. And they are not hiding it. They, they, they have a meeting place where they meet to worship Satan. And it is not Ill, it is not illegal. It is called freedom of worship. Worship anything you want. So the spiritual space is becoming choked up. Only them that do know their God will be strong and do exploits. The same way in, in, in a few years to come, even in this nation, the same way you are saying Jesus is my Lord is the same way somebody is saying so and so is my Lord and they are not hiding it. They will not hide it. The only thing left is superiority of manifestation. Serve your God, I serve my God. The greater God will manifest himself. But you will not be able to stop it. So all this religion and cover up we are doing without a real connection to the substance of the God we serve. In the nearest future, it will not hold water. If you know God, we will know. If you don't know him, we will still know. You can't take it. So if your entire concern is hunger for spiritual power, you want to explore the spiritual world, then you will soon leave God. You will soon leave Jesus. Have, have you been seeing the trend of the teaching in this generation? Have you, do you care to pay attention to the patterns of even secular music? Are you aware that many secular musicians now are now attributing everything to God? Oh, you are not seeing. They recognize God. They acknowledge God. They appreciate God. Now, Papa God, do Now, God, run for us. 
as she come up in the morning, thank God. Which God is the question we need to ask? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If the God you are talking about is the same almighty God, his only address is Jesus. His only address is Jesus. If it is the God of heaven you are talking about, say Jesus, don't say thank God. So watch your conversations. There is nothing like give glory to God. Satan is a God. God is a title. Pharaoh was a God. Pharaoh was the God of Egypt. He was worshipped. Many gods are arising in these last days. So every child of God must take their identity not in God but in Jesus Christ. God is a title. The only address to Jehovah, that is his name, the God we serve. He has a name. His name is Jehovah. God is a title. Some music ministers exploding with secular songs today. A spirit visited them. Where do you think some of those dance moves come from? And then it's a sad thing that the church is copying it. Even music ministers right now are now trying to rehearse the steps that they are dancing praise on God's altar. That they got from a secular music. Where do you think those steps, where was those steps inspired from? Don't worry, as we advance by the grace of God in ministry, we are going to get fully into, into the phase of deliverance. Where there is a deliverance session in every single service. You will see wonders. Some demons will start manifesting and you see what they will be doing. Some will take to their heels and start dancing some funny dance. That's when you will know that most of these funny dance steps you see, most of these secular videos, these are enchantments to pray spirits. The dances is to give spirits glory. So whenever you begin the dance step, what you are doing it, you are giving honor to the spirit and you are summoning the powers of the spirit. Anyone who watches that dance, step, dance steps naturally become captivated by the spirit. So the spirit said to gain more audience and credibility, use God but don't use Jesus. I am your God. So they come, they say, now nah, Papa God. The Papa God is not Jehovah. It's a spirit that appeared to them that promised them fame in exchange of worship. The only address of the living God is Jesus. So anybody you see in this race, I say I give glory to God. If it is the God of the Bible, his address is Jesus. Saying trial, he even saying a God do one. God is title. Which of the God do one? God Satan. God Mammon, God Amadioa. Have you cared to wonder where these names come from? Amadioa, Shongo. Where did these names come from? Have you cared to wonder? The gods came and visited the man. Uh, uh, the, the counterpart religion, like Islam, for instance. Where do you think that came from? You think it's a joke that Muhammad had visions? He did have visions. A spirit did visit him. But the only way I know that spirit is not God because he did not acknowledge Jesus. He acknowledged Jesus is the Messiah. He accepted it but not his Messiah. Islam is the number one most powerful religion that stands at odds with Christianity. 
only an encounter would have given birth to that. Christmas is December 25th. Why is there no specific date for Salah? Why do they observe the moon and the stars? Necromancy to know when Salah is falling. Say now, one want God who they worship none like that, they worship their own. If I catch you saying that, there is nothing one God about that. There are no many addresses to God. There is one address, the address is Jesus. I love you as a Muslim brother because I am commanded by scripture to love you. But where our faith comes to be tested, sorry, we don't believe the same thing. And a clear cut line has to be drawn there. Who we'll meet will do business like Abraham and Abimelech. Will transact. You give glory to your Allah. I'll give glory to Jesus Christ. That's God's address in these last days. So I am consciously learning to not even say God. There are many gods. Watch preachers on the altar who you find out that it's very difficult for Jesus to come out of their mouth. He heard them say things like, if God be on the throne, I declare, let this happen to you. If God be on the throne, I declare, let this happen to you. If God be on the throne, but they will never mention Jesus. But they are preaching from Bible. Quoting scriptures is nothing. Even Satan quoted scripture to the word. And he was not afraid knowing this is the word made flesh. We must make up our mind to be different in this generation. You must make up your mind to understand that the only spiritual source you are ready to settle and subscribe to is Jesus Christ. There are many spiritual mediums out there. I was in a program when... when a prophet located a guy that you went somewhere so that they can wash your eye to see you did not complete the process and right now they are planning to kill you come out and the guy came out young guy and i'm wondering what are you looking for out of this life he went through all the ceremony slept with all the virgins you were supposed to sleep with he went to the last stage which they were to lock him inside a coffin for three days he entered the coffin, lay down there day one. It was in the day two evening that he got up and he ran. And now the spirits are after him to kill him because he has been exposed to a truth and now you have to die. And what was the reason for all of that? So that he can have eyes that see into the spirit without restriction. That's how far people are willing to go. You see some people, their finger. I, I, I was in the garage one day and somebody was talking to the mechanic and he said, See, forget this, my body. If I slap you with this ring, you go fall, you no go get up again. And he was not joking. Not every rings people wear are normal jewelries. Most of them are conduits of demonic powers. That is why naturally when I'm going for crusades, I remove my wedding ring. I, I don't even wear wrist watch. Because the world is becoming a very diabolic place. The last time I went, I went, I went for a crusade and demons were manifesting and all of that. They say, let them check his finger. How many rings is he wearing? I wasn't married then anyway, so I had no ring on my finger. But how about wristwatch? I was on a drive fast. I was too tired. The wristwatch was heavy. I did not even wear it.
but that's how diabolic the world we are living is becoming and you must make up your mind to be different you must make up your mind that Jesus is going to be the only spiritual source you know don't allow anybody drag you into any cover a woman searched for the fruit of the womb one time over 10 years she was still searching nothing happened so somebody came to her said there's one baba he's a traditionalist that she he normally helps women conceive and they went to the man and the man said you know I'm just a vessel that God is using not Jesus God he says and by God's grace so even God's grace now I'm trying to consciously edit it by the supply of grace through Jesus is better because graces that God's are giving now I don't understand everybody now is attributing things to God's grace but when we check the character and the testament there is no the God factor and character is not there how is it God's grace when the end result is you plunging into a life of sin the supply of grace does not work that way we need to check the grace again why does somebody do illegal things to get money and can do anything with the money they can sit down with you you can drink all manner of alcohols you want to drink they will pay gladly but the day you tell them give me one million let me start a business they don't have money but anyone that can help you waste your destiny they are willing because every spirit that supplies wealth ensures the wealth is channeled into things that brings back glory to him the same way god expects you to use your money to bring glory to him so it is natural for 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 a secular or a worldly man to go and spend his money on things that bring glory to satan the same way it should be very natural to you to spend your money in church everybody eventually pays homage to the god they represent if jesus is your god you advance his kingdom with your money we will get to know your god by where your money is going to there is no two ways about it the entirety of your money cannot be ending in a club and you tell me jesus is your lord how many crusades have you sponsored how many poor have you helped how many widows have you helped how many orphans have you helped we will know how much of your little money in quotes that is not much has gone into advancing god's kingdom Say me, give money for church. May pastors chop him. But Satan can chop your own in a club in alcohol. And it's not a problem. And you are too blind to see. How can you enter a club and carry a bottle that if they turn the whole content it is not up to two rubber cup and you pay 185,000 naira that when you test two, 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 two tips you are already acting like a madman on rampage you don't mind pulling your shirt at those point and acting like what I don't understand but then you looked at somebody who came into church and gave offering of 5,000. Then you call him Mumu. Pastor, they use your head. You too, Satan, they use your head. Either way, they are all using us. At least my own God is using me. We are all being used. And then you believe and you say, ah, no, no be like that now. Nah. You may say, no be all pastors. Some pastors are genuine. Da, you owe nobody any explanation. It is your money you have the right to spend this how you want. You owe no 
nobody explanation. How many of them have come to explain to you why they spend their money in clubs? But you think you will owe them an explanation for spending your money in church? You buy seats for church for somebody to sit down and say, Pastor, use your head. But they went to a club and they paid 10,000 to enter, but Satan no use their head. But if not church, God use our head. And you are feeling bad. You should be pitying them. Then play their nonsense. Some will even carry a speaker that is bigger than them on the road and they are playing their nonsense. And you, you play your gospel song and they say you are too spiritual and you are feeling bad. Brother, be spirit. Coco, it's none of your business. Let them consult their spirits. You consult your spirit. It is altar for altar. Spirit for spirit. Consult your spirit. I go consult my own. The man with the greater spirit will win. You serve a demonic spirit. I serve the Holy Spirit. We are all serving spirits. Let the spirit with the higher manifestation manifest. When manifestation comes, we will know which spirit is higher. You are, you are trying to explain. Explain what? You can't keep charm for front of my church. I go carry your charm, come put for altar. Your destiny will be in trouble. Altar for altar. If you know, say your papa Lawo strong, bring the charm come drop. My God, Lawo go damage your papa Lawo. Come and drop it. I don't understand why Christians apologize to the world. Bring your charm. I'll bring my God. The Bible says there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there divination against Israel. It cannot work. Charm not a work for my head. I am Holy Ghost full. I am powerful. I am Holy Ghost drunk. My name is my number. I am born of God. I overcome the world. Altar for altar. Power for power. Bring your power. I go bring the power of my God. Let the higher power prevail. The Bible says, let every power be subject to a greater power. Bring your power, come. Let us test powers. I know which power is stronger. You think I'm a young man? I might be young, but my God is the ancient of this. He is the Alpha Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. My number might be 30 plus, but my God pre existed the beginning. Can you say the same of your own God? Your Papa Lawo is a man, my Holy Ghost is a spirit. You owe the world no explanation. Then collect charm from Babalao. Put for front of their shop to call past call, call customers. Come and carry anointing oil. In Lekutokobolagadia. Go palm for front of your shop. In Lakutobaladimagada. It is altar for altar. Spirit for spirit. Serve your God, I serve my God. Let the higher manifestation prevail. I am not stopping you from using demonic powers. But don't stop me from using Holy Ghost power. Use your power, no problem. But don't stop me from using my own. It is the God we know we serve. I have been telling you for a long while now. Now the God we know we deserve. your papa Lao. let him fortify a ring and give you for protection no problem let him tell you what to say for the ring to wear no problem 
I said, they wear your ring, they feel bold. Now like that, they speak in tongues, they feel bold. Wear your ring, I go speak in tongues. Don't tell me I'm speaking nonsense. Because I don't tell you, say your ring, no nonsense. Serve your God, I will serve my God. Collect some from Babalao. Then there you say 12 a.m. Make you come up for night, come worker. Naked for street. Me, I even wear clothes, they speak in tongues. You say I told you to. How about you? You know they say you told you to. Now only me to the do. You consulted your spiritual medium. I consulted my spiritual medium. Which one do you own? You consulted marine powers. I consulted the God that created marine. Which one be own? You own nobody an explanation. I am tired of the world looking as Christians like some weak fellows. A man is as strong as the God backing him. My God is not weak. My God is not weak. Jesus is not weak. You carry charm, come put for front of church, and you want make I fear. When, 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 when you don't ever see, when you don't ever see dog, when you don't ever see lion, they run from dog. Where has that ever happened? You carry charm put for me. I go carry your charm, come put inside church. Both you and the mamalawo and the babalawo and the onkulawo will cook the charm. All of you, your destiny is in trouble. You carry my name to any altar. Fire go answer you. Jesus go appear. Angel Michael go appear. Angel Gabriel go appear. God go appear. Holy Ghost go fire thunder. Try it and see what happens to your destiny. I am not weak. Your God is not weak. Use your charm to business. I go use my God to business. We will know which God is more powerful. In fact, be bold enough to come. Let's compare powers. Bring your charm. I will bring my God. Let's compare powers. Let's know which one will make it work faster. That devil is a bastard. You owe the world no apology. You don't ever see somebody when they drive Lamborghini, they apologize to somebody when they drive Pigeon 504. Your God is bigger. Your God is better. Your God is stronger. The church is not weak. All, all this drama is not moving me. I am contending for something more tangible. Eh? When, when you say you be witch, I go shake your hand first. As I they shake your hand, every power where you carry go die. We are not in competition with demonic powers. We are, see, the truth is we are not in the same class. It is people of the same class that compete. We are not even in the same class. We have God, then man, then angels, then fallen angels, then demons. Then a demon dropped off from a lower tada. He never finished upgrade to devil. He never finished upgrade to fallen angel. He never finished upgrade to angel. He won't come challenge me, created in the image and likeness of God, Mike Mamvon. You are afraid. 
Somebody say, I just went for a meeting at night. You they even wait for night they, to go meeting. Us, we go as we walk. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Lady, they transport, go meeting. We will they sit down there. That is where we sit. Who are you trying to intimidate? Lady, they fly, go meeting. Some of us, we know they fly, we did there. The God will create the demon, will give you witch power, and be my God. We are not made. Here we they sit down, but the throne room gone gone with Christ. Guess what? Far above principalities and powers. I, I know the hierarchy of your power. The first hierarchy, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness. Your highest power, I am above them. So what are we saying? We are not mates. We are not mates by any standard. I was passing on the street one day and I saw somebody did a charm. They tie a, a, a dog baby, tie some things, tied money and tied all of that. And people said, Jesus, and they were running away. Jesus, and they were running away. I went, I looked at it, I carried it. I looked at it and I lose the money first. Hold. Let me, let, let, if them burn that shrine well, come and visit me. You know the fear face, you don't know your mate. When I admired the doll baby and the craftsman, she finished. I said, To whom it may concern, both the person who went for the charm and the person who did the charm and the demon sponsoring the power, all of you, I summon you on the altar of the Holy Ghost, die by fire. You go carry charm. You need ring to protect you. My, my life is hid in Christ in God. We don't need ring. We are not even seen. Now who you see, you go kill. So allow them underestimate you because you are young. You might be young, but your God is not young. That was what David understood. He says, who are you uncircumcised Philistine? I am circumcised. I have a covenant with God. You are uncircumcised. You don't have a covenant. So who are you to defy the armies of the living God? It was not about me, David. It's about the God I represent. Who are you? Your God is not weak. Stop acting as if God is not on the throne. Nobody an apology. You owe nobody an apology. If they cannot be shy to smoke their nonsense to get high, you shouldn't be shy to blast in tongues till you get high in the Holy Ghost. We are all getting high, we just have different means of doing it. When you do my own ashakwatakete in akwatabalakatuna manata. But at the end, he that is high on the most high has the highest high. We are all trying to get high. We just know how to do it better. Your highness, they mumu you. My own, they coordinate me. It is altar for altar. 
if your God is that strong, come and try me. Come. If you go back the same way you came, God did not call me. You owe nobody an apology. Don't allow anybody deceive you. That is, there is one spiritual power somewhere that will do this. God is the ultimate power. He is far above principalities and powers. Give me Colossians 2.14. I couldn't even follow my sermon notes. Thirteen. Let's make sense of it from there. 13. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, had he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Look at 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross 15 and having spoiled principalities and powers he made a show of them openly triumphing them over them in it do you know the first thing jesus did when he resurrected when he came to the disciples he says all hail all hail, hail me i have conquered them hail me hail me hail me he says all hail then he said to them all powers in heaven and on earth has been given unto me go therefore and make disciple i know they doubt say you get power i just know say i get greater power my power is in the earth realm my power is in the heavenly realm if you go to marine powers it is still on the earth i have power on the earth if you go to the power of the air i have power in heaven they know do you reach to do me something then do me pass you. Say, come, let me introduce you to one website. 